In this instruction video, we will discuss regression discontinuity analysis, an analysis that can be used for certain quasi-experimental pretest post-test designs. Regression discontinuity analysis is an analytic approach for research designs in which participants are assigned to conditions on the basis of a cut score. In daily life, people are often assigned to things like treatments or scholarships based on a threshold. In other words, receiving a treatment or scholarship is determined by whether you are below or above a certain threshold on some variable. For example, children could be assigned to an intervention if their score on a mathematics test is below a predetermined threshold. Or, students receive a scholarship if their SAT score is higher than the threshold. Regression discontinuity analysis is an analytic approach that could be used in such cases. So instead of random assignment, participants are assigned to conditions on the basis of a cut score, the threshold. For example, children could be assigned to an intervention based on their mathematics grade. Each dot represents a child's math grade. The cut score is 5. Children below the cut score will be assigned to the treatment group, containing a mathematics intervention. And children above the cut score will be assigned to the comparison group, in which there is no intervention. The basic idea of regression discontinuity analysis is that the independent variable the treatment, for example, changes the relationship between the pretest and post-test scores on the dependent variable for the treatment group relative to the comparison group. The research design that will be appropriate in order to perform a regression discontinuity analysis can be visualized with a scheme. O1 is a pre-measure of the dependent variable. C indicates that participants are assigned to conditions on the basis of a cut score. In other words, they are assigned to one of the conditions depending on whether their pretest score, O1, is below or above the cut score. X represents the independent variable, so X1 could be the treatment condition and X2 the comparison condition. And O2 and O3 are post measures of the dependent variable, also called post test scores. All regression discontinuity analysis approaches start by looking carefully at a graph in which the pretest scores go on the x axis and the post test scores on the y axis. Let's consider an example. We want to investigate the effect of a mindfulness training on ADHD related symptoms in children. The dependent variable, ADHD related symptoms, is measured before and after the treatment, so we have a pretest and posttest score of each child. Let's go back to the previous graph. Here the pretest score on the ADHD related symptoms is on the x axis and the posttest score on the y axis. The vertical line in this graph represents the cut score at a pretest score of 10. Each dot in this graph indicates a single child's pretest and posttest score. Children below the cut score won't receive the treatment, so they will be in a comparison group. And children above the cut score will receive the mindfulness treatment, so they are in the treatment group. Normally, without any treatment, we would expect that the pretest score increases with the posttest score. So the higher your pretest score on ADHD related symptoms, the higher your posttest score on the ADHD related symptoms. The solid line through the dots is the linear regression line, which summarizes the relationship between the pretest and posttest scores. This line depicts a strong positive relationship between the pretest and posttest scores. A low pretest score goes together with a low post-test score. And a high pretest score goes together with a high post-test score. Now suppose we give children to the right of the cut score the mindfulness intervention, so they are in the treatment group, 
and children below the cut score will be in the comparison group. This is what the graph could look like after giving the treatment. This graph is identical to the previous graph, except that all points to the right of the cut score are now decreased by 4 points on the post-test, indicating that receiving the mindfulness intervention reduces ADHD-related symptoms. This fall right at the cut score is a discontinuity in the regression line. That is why it is called regression discontinuity analysis. To summarize, regression discontinuity analysis is an analytic approach that can be used for a pretest posttest design in which participants are being assigned to a condition on the basis of a cut score. The main idea of the analysis approach is that the independent variable changes the relationship between the pretest and posttest for the treatment group relative to the comparison group.